Hello guys, how are you doing? And here we are back with the rankings of every movie I saw in the year 2018. Hope you guys are enjoying it so far. If you didn't see the last video, go click the last video before you click on this one. It was number 47 through 25 of everything I saw in 2018. I saw a lot of movies. Went to the movies a lot of times. I went almost once a week. Had a great time. Had some not so great times. But it is a risk. It is a gamble. Right now I'm at the point where almost every movie on my list is a movie I enjoyed. Which is great to hear. I get to talk about movies I liked. Amazing. Beautiful. I'd much rather do that than talk about movies I hate. So here we are. Number 24, number 25, we just lost, left off Venom. I know, that was a different video. If anything, if you hate Venom, don't dislike that this video. Dislike the other video. It's okay. I give you, I give you, it's, it's okay. I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. But number 24 on here, another comic book kind of movie. Um, Teen Titans go to the movies. This movie was super fun. I felt... Like a kid, I literally, I, I put myself in a kid's shoes. I literally went, saw this movie kick back, and was like, ha 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 ha, this movie, oh, this pun, this joke, that is clever. Like, bro, so many funny things. I Can I give a spoiler? Are you going to watch this movie? It's not even that much of a spoiler, but you got to watch it for this one reason. This one reason, these two reasons, three reasons. Bro, I, if, you, if you don't want a spoiler, skip like 10 seconds ahead. They kill Batman's parents, and they kill Aquaman. It's hilarious. Watch this movie. You skip the head, you're good. All right, this movie is not for kids, bro. If you saw the ending, watch it all the way to the ending. This movie is made for us. This is made for me. This movie was great. I want to watch this again right now. I got to put all my friends onto this. already have, but I got to do it again. We got to watch this movie. Also, you guys could, Teen Titans, go to the movies. How about you guys all come to my house, and we watch the movie? It's New, new title. I, I, Christian, come to the house and don't go to the movies and watch it in this basement. I don't know. Whatever. Number 23, a movie that it was good, but boy, I wish it could have been number one. I wish it could have been number two. I wish it could have been top ten. And that movie is Halloween. Um, I didn't love this movie as much as a lot of people did. And like I said, I'm a big Blumhouse guy in my last video. This movie was it was it was good. It was a it was a good movie. It really was, but it wasn't. And obviously, it's twenty three. It's better than a lot of movies I just named. But the problem is that I had expectations of it being a lot better. But I got to sometimes dead all my expectations. It was a good movie, but there was a lot of moments. I wish I could give a spoiler review, where I'm just like, "Are you stupid? Why are we doing this? Why are you doing this as a character? Why is this person still here?" I like horror movies, I like slasher movies, I want them to be back so bad, and I hope this could possibly see that there's still money in the genre, but it's just because there's money in the genre, that doesn't mean you should just produce just crappy movies that are slashers, because we had that era for a very long time. Hope we could get past that and put actually good things behind it, and I feel like Blumhouse can. But this movie was just good, and it hurts me to say it was just good. Number 22, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Keep it going with the comic book movies. Um, This movie, in the hindsight, after Infinity War, you just, like, didn't need to see it in all reality. Served its purpose of being, uh, the you know, the B-movie of the Marvel movies. I really liked Ant-Man the first one, and I feel like this doesn't touch it. I feel like Ant-Man the first, the first one just gives you a different type of feeling, and it derives a different type of emotion out of you. The Wasp character was cool. Ant-Man was cool. The villain was a-okay. Um, it just didn't wasn't amazing. And I know, I mean, uh, uh, these movies are already good. Like they're in the good portion of the list. But the problem is that. You kind of wish you could get a little more from them. That's all I'm asking for. That's all I wanted. Didn't quite get that from here, but it was still a very enjoyable time at the movies for me. And now number 21, A Simple Favor. Bro, this movie was pretty good, actually. Like, See, this is the thing. Ant-Man I had expectations for. A Simple Favor I had low expectations for. 
that is the difference here. And in reality, I guess because I had less expectations for it, kind of switched over a little bit. A simple flip favorite was a great mystery, you know, who did it type of movie, murder mystery, I guess in a sense. Um, pretty fun, pretty funny, enjoyable as hell. Sometimes it came to the point where I was like, all right, we're dragging this out a little bit too much. There's no reason this movie should be two hours and some change. But maybe it just felt like that. I don't know the actual runtime. Nevertheless, pretty fun time. I'm going to watch this again very soon, but I'm going to watch it. I, I like watching these like mystery movies with like a crowd of people so I can see their faces when they see all the twists and turns. This movie out of time felt like it had too many twists and turns. I was like, all right, who did this at this point? Like, I don't know who's right, who's wrong answer my questions so how'd you guys like this one I, i'm really curious you guys should really go check this out i thought it was pretty good rent it watch it however if you guys like to stream it illegally put locker shout out to y'all i'm not mad not mad at all now number 20 uh a, a lot of people had this in the top three a lot of people had this in the top three and this is going to be my first controversial pick of the day i'm kind of scared to say it and I just said how much of a fan I was of this last video, and it is Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Again, I enjoyed the movie. My expectations were here, and I feel like the movie hit, like, right here. I, I, I heard all the reviews, and I was like, wow, this is about to be, like, the best Spider-Man movie of all time. And I felt like it was a little, little, little bit overrated. I'm sorry. You could kill me. You could do whatever you want. Stick with me here. It was okay. It was a lot happening. Um, sometimes it was a little too over the top. Granted, it's a kid Spider-Man movie, so I understand. Uh, it was it was okay, man. It, it, it was really good. It was really good, but it just wasn't really great, in my opinion. I lo like Mal Morales. My first introduction was to him in the Spider-Man game. I, if, if we're talking about the best Spider-Man thing ever, I think the Spider-Man game is the best Spider-Man thing ever. In our reality, that game is amazing. This probably ranked like number five for me. I'll, I'll put it under the Spider-Man game, Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man 2, probably Spider-Man 1. And I think right there is where we have Spider-Man into the Spider-Universe. I do want to see more though. Do want to see more. Excited to see more. So hopefully we do see more. And with the money is making, I hope, I hope that, that that becomes reality. But don't kill me about it. Number 20, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Number 19, a movie that I enjoyed thoroughly. And I had a good time. But the thing is, I don't really want to watch it again. Don't have a passion to watch it again. Ocean's 8. What, you know, Sandra Bullock, Rihanna, and a bunch of other female empowerment people. You know what? I, I, I like this movie a lot. And it was really fun. The whole concept was a different concept than I ever seen. Like them trying to not rob a bank. Them not trying to rob um, this building. But them just trying to rob jewelry off of somebody's necklace. And the creative way that they played with it by... It, it, was, it was cool, man. And it, it was really cool. It was a fun movie. And I had a really good time with it. So that, that's all, all I really got for it, though. I, I don't have anything else to say. Just that it's 19. And I enjoyed it more than I enjoyed these other movies. So, there's that. Now, from here on out, all these movies that I'm about to say, I almost loved. Like, I was in the really good portion that I was just at before, in the start of this movie. These are all movies that I almost loved. And we're going to start it off with number 18, Game Night. This movie was super fun. This movie was super funny. I had a great time watching this. And it, it had a nice little who did it element to this as well. And I thought the twists and turns were not too much, like a simple favor, like I said previously. And it just balanced it with the comedy and the Jason Bateman-isms in this. Like, I, lo I love him from Ozark, so, it, it you know, I just carry that over into watching this. But it was just a really fun movie. Made me appreciate Jason Bateman once again. And in reality, just a great time. I was, this, this is a movie you could throw on almost any occasion. You could throw this on on a family night. You could throw this on you know all you guys or you could throw us on in the background of of, of, a, of a situation of a scene so I, I really enjoyed this movie really funny i think one of the best comedies of this year by far by far so number 18 game night number 17 a movie that i wanted 
to be just as good as the original, if not better. And it fell right under it, but I can't blame it because the original to me is one of the best movies out of the production studios. And it is Wreck-It Ralph Breaks the Internet, or I don't know how that was sorted. Ralph Breaks the Internet, I think. Fun movie, really good time. Love it. I, I really enjoyed this movie, but it just didn't surpass the OG to me. We're going to have one movie in this list that didn't surpass the original uh, uh, as well. But this movie did the job. I enjoyed it a lot. I had a great time. I, this was one of the movies where I was like, yo, move, 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 little kid. Get out the way. I'm going to see Ralph break the shit out of this internet, and I'm, I'm here for it. And I was there for it. Had a good time. Going to see it again. I want to see it you know, back to back with the Wreck-It Ralph movie. Wreck-It Ralph was just so good. Like the original, it's hard to top that. It's really hard to top that. This didn't, but it got pretty close. Got pretty close without amplifying the video game elements and just the internet elements, which was pretty... It was, it was a nice twist to it. I enjoyed it. I don't know if they go anywhere from here, but if they do, I'm on board. Number 16, a movie that I enjoyed so, so, so much. Love everything behind it. I love all the... I, this movie is one of the best movies that I saw this year, and this is where we're going into all the movies I loved. And it starts off with this, number 16, Black Klansman. The performance from, ah, uh, man, what's his name? It's, it's, so it's Denzel Washington, and I think the guy's name is David Washington, or I gotta look this up. I was close. I was gonna say John Washington, too, but it's John David Washington. Bro, if, if this was a debut, because I don't think I've ever seen him before, this guy is just like his father. This guy is a star, man. He just oozes that charisma. He oozes that presence on the screen. I... It's, it's, it's sometimes, you know, these movies, like, Django's one of my favorites, but it, it gets sometimes difficult to watch these realer-than-life movies because, you know, it's kind of based off of... Yeah, this movie was based off a true story, so sometimes it gets hard to watch some scenes, but this movie was just straight up. It, it balanced it well because you going into, into it, you didn't know if it was a comedy, if it was just straight seriousness, if it was just based off a true story, almost like a documentary-esque movie. It, it did a, it did it all, and it, it did it all really, really well. And I enjoyed this movie a lot, and I am just waiting for the John David Washington and Denzel Washington movie together, and I know that I'm going to be the first one to buy the ticket. Well, a lot of people might want to buy it, so I'm, I'll, I'll be the 20th person to buy the ticket, and I'll be right there in the movie theater waiting on board. Number 15, a movie that I said Wreck-It Ralph didn't surpass the original. I personally think, and I think I'm one of the only people that think this, this movie passed the original, and it's Deadpool 2. Deadpool had a lot of fun moments in the first watch, but I feel like I loved it. It was one of my favorite movies that favorite movies that year. But I feel like repeat viewings kind of it, it kind of waters down the movie a bit. Where this, I still feel that energy watching it a second and third time. Deadpool 2, what obviously Ryan Reynolds, but this time we got Cable into it. Um, we had the uh, Domino. We had Domino into it. Bro, this movie was super, super fun. And I enjoyed this. I enjoyed all the little puns and all the little inside jokes they make. I didn't get to see the Deadpool, the PG-13 rated one. I forgot what it was called. Once Upon a Deadpool, I think. But um, as far as this one goes, super, super fun, bro. I loved it. I enjoyed it so much. At one point, it was definitely top 10 movies for me. Maybe even top 5. But as movies kept dropping, this kept dropping as well. Nevertheless, 16, I mean 15 on the list is not a bad ranking at all. So, cannot blame it at all. It was 15. I just had, literally had to check my phone because I wasn't too sure. I didn't want to give you the wrong number. But for number 14, this was another movie that, as I said, didn't surpass the original. But that's not a bad thing. The original is a classic. Number 14, Incredibles 2. Very formulaic. You watch it and you're like, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. It's almost copy, it's almost a replica of the first one. This is going to happen, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. This twist is going to happen. I saw all that, I knew all that, and I still love the movie. So, it's just showing you how much of the character is just built in me from a child. I was waiting all the most years for this movie. Incredible is one of my favorite Pixar movies, and I'm a Pixar head. And Inside Out was one of my favorite movies of all time. Coco was one of my favorite movies of all time. The whole Toy Story franchise, bro. When Toy Story 4 comes out, 
I'm gonna cry. I cry every time in Toy Story 3. Every time I get one tear that just goes. And it just falls down and it reaches my lap and it's just like Woody dropping into the abyss of toy. It's whatever. I'm not getting off topic here. Incredibles 2, really fun movie. It's just really great to see the people you grew up watching come back. Some 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 part of me wanted to see them age. Some part part wanted to see all of them together in like a Fantastic Four almost setting. And obviously we're gonna get that at the ending, but if you haven't seen this already, watch it. If you have a kid to watch it with, watch it. Because I can't wait to show this to my nephew and just say, like, here, sit down, turn off Paw Patrol, turn off, um, forgot what's the other thing he watches. Uh, turn off Paw Patrol, turn off all the other stuff you watch. Watch Incredibles 2 and get into superheroes and stop playing with trucks. Play with Jack-Jack and Mr. Incredible, goddammit. But yeah, number 15, Incredibles 2. Great movie. Enjoyed it a lot. Number 14, not 15, screwed it up a little bit, my fault. But number 13, again, just because it's 13 doesn't mean it's not great. Like, it's not top 10. It'll be an honorable mention if I made a top 10 list, and I know a lot of people have this in their top 10, and I don't want to beat it down to the ground, but it was really fun and a really great movie. I had a great time watching this. I just didn't seep it into my top 10 like a lot of pe other people. Mission Impossible... God, what is this one called? Mission Impossible 6, Mission Impossible... Fallout. I had to look it up, but it was Fallout. I just wrote Mission Impossible on my list. Mission Impossible 6, I think. Fallout. Bro, the action scene, this is by far the greatest action movie on my list. By far. Amazing. Every scene was captivating. Every scene was breathtaking. The only thing I had, the only gripe I had with this movie isn't a gripe that I should really place upon it. And it was just like, the story was a little mumbo-jumbo at a time. But why do I care? It's a Mission Impossible movie. Tom Cruise is jumping out of buildings and jumping from ceiling to ceiling, from roof to roof. I said ceiling to ceiling. Um, jumping out of airplanes, doing this. He's holding on by the last... Bro, it's Tom Cruise, Mission Impossible. Why do I want a beautifully written story? It's beyond me. Like being being this placed on my list, being thirteen is not a bad reason at all. Not a bad placing at all. So great movie, bro. I gotta watch this again. To be honest, I gotta I gotta give this a really thorough watch again and just turn my brain off and completely enjoy the shit out of it. Awesome movie. Awesome, awesome movie. Go watch it if you haven't already. Number twelve. I see the comments already. How do you have this over? Mission Impossible. The answer is I just do. I, I do. It was super fun. It was my guilty pleasure of the year. A lot of people said it reminded them too much of Heat, so they didn't like it. Guess what? I didn't see Heat, so I loved it. Den of Thieves, bro. It was just... It's, I think it came out in January, to be honest. January, February. Early in the year. First quarter, for sure. And I went back to it. I, I saw it three times total this year. Liked it every time I saw it. Like the twist, like the turns, like the action, like the story. Man, I fell in love with this movie. It's my guilty pleasure. Like, it was rough not putting this in my top 10 for me. It's crazy. I think if you guys haven't seen this movie, you should really watch it. And I think you would enjoy it thoroughly. There's not too much I see wrong with it. If it was a ripoff of Heat, excuse me. I just haven't seen Heat. I'm born in 98. I think Heat came out in right around that time. So, miss that one. Gotta go back and watch that one, though. Even though I'm probably going to look at it and say, hey, it's a copy of Den of Thieves, knowing that, obviously, knowing that what came first. But that's all I got to say. I really enjoy this movie. Just popcorn flick all the way, bro. First quarter, and it stuck with me until number 12. So, pretty insane. Pretty insane. And now for number 11, we have Black Panther. You would have told me this list in June. This would have been number one. And some movies that I saw past this movie, like after this movie, just ended up jumping over it in time. And after repeat viewings, Black Panther, I know where a lot of people stand with this. A lot. This movie actually gets a lot of hate too. And I don't know what it was, but I, I when I first saw it, I really, really loved this movie. And then after repeat viewings, and after hearing what everybody had to say about it, it almost became from the movie that nobody wanted to hate to the movie that nobody wanted to love because it was like the cool thing to do and it became the cool thing to hate this movie. I couldn't jump spectrums from one end to the other. That was impossible for me. But 
I was able to understand the gripes after repeat viewings. Yeah, they didn't really leave Wakanda that much, as in like different locations inside. Yeah, the CGI sometimes was a little eh. Yeah, Killmonger was way more likable than Black Panther. Yeah, this and this, and yeah, this and that, and and it was just like yeah, I understand. But I still love the movie, man. It was still a great historical movie. Like whether you like it or not, this movie was an instant classic. This movie just. This movie was defying in our generation. This is going to be one of the generational standouts where it's like this movie was able to do something different and it was able to break the genre just a bit. Like the, 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 the power behind this movie and the power that this movie caused was simply amazing. So great time. Michael B. Jordan, bro, what can I say? You killed it, bro. You, 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 insane. You keep getting more jacked. I can't, I can't imagine you any more jacked than you are. Actually, I can. Because number 10, breaking into my top 10 list. Here we are. Creed 2. Big fan of Creed, the first one. Big fan of this movie. This movie, unlike Black Panther, when I sat with it more and more, I was like, wow. I can't, like I haven't seen it again, obviously, because it hasn't hit DVD. But I'm like, I want to see this movie again. I want to see it right after Creed 1. I love it. And everybody's saying this should be the last Creed. It should be no more. I'm the opposite. Give me more Michael B. Jordan. Give me more Creed. There's so much more stories to tell, I feel like. Great movie. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Especially if you're a fan of the Rocky franchise. Especially if you're a fan of the Creed franchise. Will not disappoint at all. The reviews were kind of mixed, and I didn't like that. I thought it was a pretty damn good movie. Pretty damn good movie. And now number nine, The Hate You Give. This movie is breathtaking. This movie is amazing. When it first came... So I, I had high expectations for this because I really wanted to see the story, and I really love the message behind it because I'm really sensitive to that. When it first started, literally the first scene made me cringe a bit. And I was like, oh no, don't tell me that it's going to be this. Thankfully, didn't see nothing like that ever again. The rest of the movie was damn near flawless to me. Amazing movie. Clearly is number nine, one of the best movies I saw this year. Breathtaking, emotional. So much heart behind this movie. And it made me fall in love with the main actress, which is, she was Rue from Hunger Games. So to see the girl actually... You know, step out of that and come here and lead her own movie. It was really amazing. She did a phenomenal job. That All the acting in this movie was phenomenal. Can't wait to watch it again. Really beautiful movie. Number nine. Please watch it. The Hate You Give. Number eight. Another movie I fell in love with and I drew a lot of sympathy with. And I kind of just... you kind of It kind of made me feel for everybody that has been in this situation because it is a situation that I'm sure occurs a lot and it's number eight love Simon I really enjoyed this movie I only saw it one time but I've been dying to watch it ever since and this movie really just brought some emotions from me that I never really had like I I always obviously I never thought of how deep and how much pressure people are of coming out because obviously this is about a guy coming out and just trying to break into the world as who he is and I never really thought of it in that sense like I always knew about it but I never felt how much pressure these people really have behind just their sexuality and who they like this movie really just makes you understand how much pressure and how much pain is behind that and they shouldn't have to feel that so it makes you feel so sympathetic this movie is so beautiful such a funny movie such a great time and Besides all that, it also has like not a who did it, but who is it type of type of suspense behind it, and it's a great feeling, a heartwarming feel good movie that just drives your range of emotions from here to here to here to here in matter of an hour and a half of of a movie. A beautiful movie, really recommend you to watch it. Really recommend you to watch it. It, it doesn't matter if you're alone or with the family, like. This could be a family movie, easily. So please watch it. Love, Simon, number eight. Number seven, now from here on out, all these movies could have flip-flopped besides the top three. Number seven, one of the most unreal theater experiences I've ever had in my life. 
a quiet place. Bro, I hate people that make noise in the movie theaters. And watching this movie, I felt like I was the person making noise. I had popcorn, and I was literally like... I got a party hat just chilling here. I don't even know. I was literally just... Crunch, crunch, crunch. I was like, damn it. <laughs> Can't even eat popcorn in this movie. Bro, you just want to stay so quiet. You don't want to make a noise because you feel like somebody's about to get you. It is that real. The performances are so breathtaking. John Krasinski behind the camera. John Krasinski on the camera. Executed everything perfectly. The child actors, actresses, whatever you want to call them, were perfect. I couldn't imagine a better way to do this. I saw Bird Box. I'm not going to put it on the list because it was Netflix and I fell asleep on it. Like I don't even want to consider it. But it's such... If you like Bird Box and you haven't seen this, you're doing it backwards. You're doing it so backwards. Go watch A Quiet Place. A Quiet Place is one of the best movies this year. No question. Two thumbs up. 10 out of 10. Damn near. Maybe like a 9.8 out of 10. Whatever. But this movie is amazing. Breathtaking. And I know a lot of people say, I don't want to watch a movie where there's no noise. Don't go into it like that at all. It's not that long. Plus, like, there's noise. Like, it's, it's a horror movie, bro. You don't want to... You, you want suspense? You want a thriller? There's no nothing more suspenseful than questioning if this person could go through the day without making a sound and you as if you were not even wanting to, like, squeak in your seat because you don't want the characters to get killed. It's insane. It's insane. It's beautiful. It's amazing. Best movie theater experience I ever had by far. I went to go see it twice, and both times I was like, I still can't make noise. I still can't do it. Still can't. Number seven, A Quiet Place. Now, number six, a lot of people didn't like this movie. A lot of people loved this movie. I loved this movie. Ready, player, one, bro. This movie was, to me, amazing. I don't know why people hated it so much. So if you guys were one of those people, let me know in the comment section down below. But for me, this movie was a fun adventure semi-action film. I love the video game element of it. I love the story behind it. I love everything about Ready Player One, in all honesty. I have very, very, very little wrong with this, and it is one of my favorite movies of the year easily, for that reason alone. I'm not going to give much more information than that. That's really it. Ready Player One, great time. Go watch it. Whether you're with your family, whether you're with your friends, you can watch this movie, play it at any time. Repeat value. I've seen this movie, I think, four times this year. I think it's the movie I saw the most out of every movie this year. So that's saying a lot. It's a really fun movie. Go watch it. Do not listen to the critics all the time. Even though I got a, I'm pretty sure I got a, a good tomato on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't know what the good tomatoes is. Certified Fresh? I'm pretty sure it is Certified Fresh. So listen to them in this case, I guess. Just go for it. Watch it. Put it on. Enjoy. You're welcome. Now, number five, number five, number five, bro. I fell in love with this movie so freaking much. Venom. I'm, I'm just playing. Upgrade. Really, the, the real Venom movie. Upgrade. Bro, this movie is insane. This movie was a spectacle. This movie was the best no, I can't say it that. But it was one of the best action movies of the year. Bro, it's violent. It's gory. It may be a little niche, but if it's niche, it is my type of niche. I love it, bro. It was like Terminator mixed with Venom. Mixed with... um, Mixed with, I don't know, greatness. Great. It was amazing, bro. The acting, bro, I don't think you understand how hard it is to act while your body is doing something else. Like, the guy is like, why are you doing this? I can't. And I'm just like, I couldn't do that with a serious face with, like, real emotion. So, like, props to you. He's like a... He, he, he reminded me of Tom Hardy. I, it was ironic, because he was like a fake Tom Hardy in a fake Venom movie. And then we had Tom Hardy in a Venom movie. And the fake Tom Hardy in a fake Venom movie was better than the real Tom Hardy in a real Venom movie. Shit is backwards. We live in an alternate reality. What is life? This is number five. Number one maybe is Venom in alternate reality. Not in this one. Number five is Upgrade. Great time. Upgrade yourself and go watch this movie right now and you will be an upgraded human being. How about that? Number four. I don't know how many people know about this movie. I don't know how many people saw this movie. I don't know how many people are going to agree with me. And I don't think many are. And 
I'm okay with that. Making this list, I really had to say I can't care what people think. And I just want to shine some light to movies that I hope people will enjoy. So number four and number three are both really controversial picks. Let's start it off with number four. And it's a movie called Superfly. I am a big hip-hop guy. I'm a super big hip-hop guy. I'm a super big into the street and hustle movies. Paid in full. Those type of movies. I completely love this movie. I saw it two or three times. This movie is one of the best movies to me for the year. And it's one of my favorite. I can't say it's one of the best movies of the year. But it's one of my favorite. Absolute favorites by far. I hung on to the storyline. I hung on to the acting. That main actor. I don't know any actors in this besides um, Jason Mitchell. I, I think that's really it in my head that I remembered. And um, the, the Hispanic guy. But Jason Mitchell. But in reality, this movie was amazing to me. The action in this movie was very, very, very damn good. The spectacle, the soundtrack. I am a bit... I'm Future High, man. Future is one of my favorite artists right now. Favorite artist right now. And he... The whole soundtrack is one... The soundtrack is one of the best projects of the year. Whether it's What's Up With That. Whether it's Her and... Um, the Her and um, Khalid joint. Whether it's Miguel or R.A.N., the Her and Khalid joint was the way. I'm not going to get into you know, the music behind it, but the soundtrack was beautiful. This movie was great. I, I literally go back to this movie, and I got to go back. To, I'm like due to go back to it now. I got to go back to it like once every three months because this movie was really, really awesome to me. Really great movie. Had a great time watching it. So number four, please watch it. It's called Superfly, especially if you're into those movies, into that type of movie. Now number three... Very niche movie. And I understand if you don't like it. I understand if you don't like it. A lot of people got Hereditary in their top three movies, top ten movies. I had that in my bottom. And I have this movie in my top three movies. And I could understand if you do have Hereditary up there. I could understand if you have this movie up there. It's a niche audience. And it's filmed all on an iPhone. Which means nothing in hindsight. I'm fil filming this on an iPhone. And this shit don't look good as th th that movie. So it pisses me off all the time. I'm like, wish I had a budget. Nevertheless, number three, Unsane, starring Claire Foy with Jay Farrow. I don't think I can name any of the actors, truthfully. But, bro, this movie is insane. Beautiful, beautiful movie. This movie gets you thinking, am I crazy? Are they crazy? Is the world crazy? Like, this movie just drives such emotion, such pain, such stress out of you. You're, you're just rooting. I'm not, I don't even want to spoil anything. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Watch this movie. If you could get past the... The fact that it was filmed on an iPhone, a lot of the angles you feel like a stalker. And it plays into the movie element alone. That's what I got out of it a lot of the time. And you kind of felt like you were watching her and you were kind of spying her a bit. This movie's insane. I gotta watch it again. Like, I saw it two times already, and both times I'm just, like, jaw to the floor, amazed. So please watch it. Number three, Unsane. Now, number two, just because it's number two and not number one, you know what? Maybe I'm cliche. Maybe I'm cliche. Maybe I'm the generic person. I had a whole list, Superfly number four, Unsane number three. Nobody's list looks like that. And then to have number two... Be Avengers Infinity War as mine is. This movie, I saw it again for the second time finally yesterday or two days ago. This movie is perfect. I don't care what you have to say. This To me, this movie is perfect. I'm not the biggest Marvel Cinematic Universe guy, but I'm like, I'm not the biggest fan of the Thor movies. I'm not the biggest fan of the Iron Man movies. Captain America 2 was good. Civil War was really good. I love my X-Men movies. And I think, honestly, the Fox X-Men sometimes better than MCU. Kill me. It's okay. But as far as this movie goes, this movie made me love every Marvel character that was ever put on a screen. Thanos, you are a badass. Scarlet Witch, continue to just kick ass. The whole Wakanda area for the final scene was beautiful. 
the whole br- to handle like 18 different storylines like that I was watching it and I was like wow this really handled like five different storylines at once and sometimes it clicks back into it and you're like wow I forgot that Thor and Rocket Raccoon was going on this path but you're like I'm I didn't lose interest I'm still hanging on and it, it's hard to balance all that at the same time like to balance everything that it balance keep it just a storyline so continuous I am so excited for Infinity War 2 uh, the end game bro I'm with it I can't wait Avengers 2 Infinity War now I, all you guys are probably guessing if that's your number 2 what did you see that is number 1 cuz obviously when you looking at a list like this especially if it's every movie I saw in 2018 everybody saw Avengers you were just waiting for that movie to pop up so now what is number 1 Number one, I a lot of you guys might not have saw, but you might have heard about. And I'm here to tell you, it is all that everybody is talking about it is to be. It is a movie that you hang on to every minute and you're on the edge of your seat every minute of the movie. And I just saw it for the second time again. Number one, Searching. This movie is the best movie I saw all year. My favorite movie I saw all year. I didn't think it would be this great. I didn't think that a movie that filmed, that is, I guess, filmed all through the lens of a computer screen can be so amazing, so just mind-blowing. I, I'm, I'm looking for the word, and I can't even find it. Just the word where you're just... It's not breathtaking, but you're just glued to it. I'm looking for the word. I can't find it. I got to search for my words right now, but you hold on to every minute of this movie. It is insane. You really, like, you feel like you're a father. Like, this movie didn't make me want, not want to have kids. It made me just really feel like a father and feel like, yo, if if my daughter, if my child went missing, I will be going crazy and... I would feel like I would have to play detective. And it made me realize I'm a terrible detective because I was leading a bunch of different directions and I didn't see the direction they went in. Guys, if you haven't seen this movie, please watch this movie. Fully recommend. If you will watch it with a parent, I watched I watched it with a parent, the second viewing, and to see the emotion driven out of them is insane. Because this is this could happen. I, I, obviously, anything could happen. But to see a parent like be in the shoes of the parent in the movie, you're just like, it hurts. Like, you can feel it. So, guys, thank you. Thank you. Watch this movie. Number one, Searching. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed my list. Hope you guys can make your lists of your own. Recall every movie you saw this year. And if you guys don't believe me, here's all the tickets I have for 2018. They're all getting stuck to each other. And here's number one. Searching, Infinity Wipe. I put them in order. And Thick Stack. Thick Stack. I hope I hope I can do it again in 2019. I haven't seen a movie yet. I don't have Movie Pass anymore. If you guys want to hear about my Movie Pass experience, I can make a video about that. Let me know in the comment section down below. Give me your list. Give me your favorite five movies of the year. Let me know down below. I feel like nobody ever ranked every movie they saw in a year. And here I am. Here I stand. I did it. Able to did it thank god man thank you guys for watching thank you guys for viewing taking your time out of your day like comment share and subscribe check out all the other stuff i have on my channel i got some lakers talk i got some gaming a bit i'm gonna add some more into it coming into the year of 2019 i'm going to get better i just got a lighting set up i got a webcam set up so for uh my gaming videos thank you guys for sticking with me if you guys are new please check out everything on this channel hope i drew some new fans hope i drew some new fans and i hope i didn't Drive away some fans. I know it gets a little controversial sometimes, but it's just a list. It's just opinion. Everybody has it. You can't be mad about anybody's opinion. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, I'm Christian, and I'll catch you. I don't know when. Maybe if you guys want to see movie reviews, let me know down below. I watch a lot of movies. I'll do movie reviews if you guys want. Thank you. Have a good day.